Hey, it's Wonk. I'm sitting here in my shack. It's raining. It's a rainy Sunday. Last night um, was this thing called the 444 portal in hippie language. There was a lot of uh, talk of ascendance, of going through a portal, of leaving shit behind. And even if you don't subscribe to all of that language, which I don't, but I find amusing. I do love the idea of taking this time to look at myself, get real with myself, decide what works and what doesn't, and leave the rest behind. Burn it up so that the ashes can be poured in the garden and I can begin again. It's not easy because it's responsibility and work and also a lot of introspection and reflection for we look to the outside a lot because our eyeballs are faced this way, our senses are faced this way to feel all the things from the outside and process them and understand them, but we often forget to go in the process to go out. And our stories can become our identity. And then the identity is the illusion of us. And then what happens if we let go of our story? Then who am I? I'd rather hold on to my story then be storyless, because by this time we've been working so hard on outward things for someone else, we don't know what we want. We don't know who we are. So take this time to learn about yourself. I went through a shit ton of traumas, uh, big ones, this past few years. We all have, but for mine, I've decided to ask what's the lesson, hence Lessons and Lovers is the record title. I want to find the lesson so I can observe it and change and let go and grow. A lot of that means writing a new story, flipping the script. Figuring out, what do I want? This past year I really was angry at music and the music business. And I had to get real with myself because it's just something I can't quit. Because it is me. It is my first love. It is how the world talks to me and through me. And I had to remember what I love about music, I'm remembering, but the only way I could do that was to know about what I loved about myself, and to love myself and remember that, I have to know myself, which is also remembering. This is a great time the world has slowed down. Who are you? What do you want your story to be? You get to write it. A wonderful jungle storm. Let's see if this works. I like to make things up randomly, so I was making this up before I turned this on. So you're part of this very vulnerable beginning.
What am I without my story? Without my stories, without my script. Quarantine, I got no place to be except my most feared sea. Watching the mirror play. It's Sunday, instead of watching someone else's story, maybe write one yourself. See you on the other side, signing off from my wonky shack in Ecuador.